I know this is like the deepest cut to like a v-neck you ever saw, but that's because I'm a dick. I'm a, I'm a really dorky guy, so it's like this v-neck, man, it's damn close to my nipples. I mean, you won't be able to see them, but damn, man, it's like shit. And there's a reason. This is my mom's v-neck, so it's meant for people with big boobies, not no boobies or no pecs for that matter. Yeah, by the way, I'm a weird motherfucker, so, you know, heads up, I'm kind of a freak. So anyway, now, in my favorites, you'll see a video called Gentrification of Washington Heights. Now, let me explain why I favored that. I was very interested in knowing the culture of my own neighborhood. This is the place I was born in. This is the place I've lived for my 17 years of life. It's not all that I know. I mean, I've lived... I mean, I basically have a dad that lives in another city, so I estivate in his place and spend the weekends there. Although not as much as I used to. And that's life. Sorry for depressing myself, but... Yeah, it's kind of that thing. So, when we talk about places like the Heights, uh, This place is like, let me tell you something about Manhattan. Manhattan, Brooklyn, Queens. They're the big three of the five boroughs of New York. I mean, there's Bronx and there's Staten Island. But if you're like not into like hip hop history, then and even if you are, there's Brooklyn. Like, there's a lot of those neighborhoods in Brooklyn, Manhattan, they have a lot of history to them. And, on a lesser note, Queens. I mean, Staten Island is mostly suburbs. It's the most suburban part. and It's like the last one people think about. But anyway, like, these are the three places. And, like, there's a lot of history. I and mean, we all know about Harlem. We all know about the history behind that place. Heights. Heights is where I live. A lot of history there. There's a lot of history in each place. But then the SWPLs with their multiculturalist agenda, they like keep going to every neighborhood, village, now all the little spots in the village. They're like SWPL, uh, Soho, Upper West Side. They got to Harlem. And they're getting to the heights. In 10 years, it's going to be completely a WPL place where it's like the culture that was layered on top of it, ethnic culture on top of ethnic culture on top of ethnic culture. Like, it started off as a very Irish, Scottish, Jewish place, and then it became like a third world nation DR type place with all the little Dominican culture. If you see the video, you will understand what I'm talking about. Like, the little Dominican elements. I mean, you got me. I'm a Dominican guy. I'm from the Heights. And I look Jewish. Some people say that because, like, I got a big nose. and I kind of act dorky and shit. So it's like... I got, I got money, too. I stack bricks all day. But that's because I'm a goon. And you got to deal with all this other shit. But now it's turning into an SWPL zone. There's like Starbucks ticking in everywhere. I'm seeing super diversity where there's like nine chicks, chicks that are nines in every race. So I'm like seeing all these nines. That's the only good thing about SWPL multiculturalism. You're seeing nines everywhere in every race. So that's good, but I don't have to go downtown to get that anymore. If I wanted a 9, I could just, like, get a 9 in every color. Get a 10 in every color, too. However, sad truth is that... That means that they got Manhattan. They got 
Manhattan is over. It's completely Manhattan. It's completely SWPL. And they're getting Brooklyn now. I mean, Brooklyn was known as a very ghetto ratchet Manhattan. Bigger one. Like a poor man's rent Manhattan. They're getting to Brooklyn too. All the history behind Brooklyn, they're sucking that one out. Turning it all SWPL. The hipsters. They're hitting Brooklyn ten times as hard as they hit Manhattan. Because it's like a bigger place. Because it's like the biggest borough of New York. They're hitting it with full ferocity. So that'll be completely SWPLized. Or gentrified. Well, really, it's not gentrified. It's just stripped of any flavor and turned into this Starbucks city. Kind of like what they do with Seattle. So, the way I see it, the problem kicks in in the fact that this doesn't make the place any nicer. I mean, you still deal with gang activity, even in SWPL zones. You deal with, like... And downtown gangs, they are the hierarchical gangs. They got the Bloods, Crips, Latin Kings, where uptown you deal with the less hierarchical ones. In the Bronx, you deal with the YGs, YBs, OYs. No hierarchy. So it's like different different style, different flavors, but different codes. Yeah, it's like it, it isn't any better or worse. It's just different. So they didn't really make the world a better place by turning into secular humanism. All they did is they took our kind of hood and it's now going somewhere else and being replaced with a different kind of hood. An SWPL friendly hood. So like the gangs in my neighborhood, Patria or uh, Trinitario, they're all going to the Bronx. So I'm seeing them in the DVDs that they're like in the Bronx now. I'm like, what happened? You guys used to be in my hood. I used to be worried about you guys. I used to be like scared as all of you. And now you're like, now when I cross over to Flybridge, then, then I see you guys. Then I see, they have to worry about you guys there. And it's like, damn. So when I, for the past four years, everyone who's Dominican and is really into the politics of their own local place has been telling me, they need to lower the taxes, because if they lower the taxes, the poor Dominicans will leave, and these people are ethnocentric or nationalistic, and they'll, they're family-centric, a little bit individualized. They're not these secular humanists. They want to see a part of themselves, and Dominicans remain, kind of like maybe the Irish guys didn't want to leave. But now this isn't an Irish place anymore. Now this isn't a Dominican place. It's SWPL. And what's happening is now there's a new dichotomy. There's going to be spots in this world that are the hood. And then there's going to be spots that are the SWPL zone. And there's no in between. There's none of these places that just have their own flavor. It's just the ghetto or SWPLs. At the ghetto, you have like the ghetto spots, you got the 7 Elevens, and those kinds of places that those chains that are like suited for ghetto people. Um, maybe the Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, a lot of hood guys like Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, oh, that's WPL too. I shouldn't make that dichotomy for that. And um, there's gonna be neighborhoods with the Starbucks too, and uh, other shit that. Apple stores, shit the SWPL is like, so, you, you pick one or two, everything else is like, insignificant, is it like a warmer place, is it cheaper, suited for old people, younger people, like if you're in like Florida, definitely older guy, um, yeah, basically, you like crowded or not so crowded. That's what the dichotomy is going to be because it's either SWPL or it's this prole ass hood thing. And you know what? A dichotomy of two things? I can't really like enjoy that. I like flavor. I like culture. 
not this anti-cultural is and shit, but you know what? Like, I shouldn't look into it too much because it's like, I'm not really good at speaking about shit like this. Like, th this isn't suited for me. This is a manly way to cross your legs. If you do it like this, then you're like squeezing your nuts. You hate your nuts or shit. This is like, you know, is it, it, it also helps you be a little more flexible too. What I have to say is, to conclude all of this, what am I getting at here? Well, what I'm getting at is that in times are changing, there's advantages and disadvantages to everything. Problem is, if you don't change with the times, you're gonna get fucked up. If you still think it's like the way it was back then when all of this shit started, then you're gonna get fucked over. That's just how it is. You gotta, like, move with the times. You know what? Everything's, everything's changing. and Everything is gonna keep on changing until, like, everything dies. And even then, it's gonna keep changing. So, don't look at it into it too far, but just keep your eyes open, because, like... You don't want to be left behind. Last thing you want to do is be left behind in this world. Whether it's in knowledge, in cultural zeitgeist, or anything like that. Like, Because before you know it, you're going to be living in this generic SWPL zone where you're wondering, like, why is it like this? Why is everything so unoriginal, corny? I mean, the chicks here are hot, but... Other than that, it's so, like, bland and unoriginal. It's like all these flavors and all these flavors come off as stale and powdery and overpriced. Or you're going to end up in a hood and you're going to be like, look at all these wannabe thugs and these niggas shooting each other. This isn't the kind of place where that would happen. This is a fucking suburb, and You're going to be wondering why things are like this, why girls are all ratchet and shit. You got... Chicks that have weaves, but then you see their tracks anyway, and they call themselves bad bitches. If a girl calls herself a bad bitch, she deserves to be slapped in the face. Not because it's like a negative, mean thing to say. Like, two negatives equal a positive, which is just saying that you're attractive and overbearingly obnoxious. It's just the fact that you have this messed up narcissism that's kind of annoying. So you deserve to get slapped if you call yourself a bad bitch. A better conclusion to this video would be... Wherever you are, if this hasn't happened to you already, it may happen. Like, what happened to me... What happened to my hometown, my neighborhood, that could happen to you. You could wake up and be like, looking at your hood and saying, why is everything so the same all of a sudden? It used to have like a nice flavor, but now it's like every other neighborhood is either really ghetto or really SWPL. What happened? Alright guys, rant over. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed my v-neck. Hope you enjoyed staring at my sexy chest. And peace out.